Greetings subscribers and guests of the channel, The Crushers. When their fists meet their opponent's head, something extraordinary happens, even by the brutal standards of boxing. One fighter likened the impact absorption of a heavyweight to being hit by a speeding car. We present to your attention the top five boxers who became famous all over the world for their killer punches. Lennox Lewis. The right cross of this legendary heavyweight had a power component of 1600 psi. Lennox was the undisputed world champion, terrifying all rivals in the heavyweight division for four years. He beat such eminent fighters as Evander Holyfield, Mike Tyson, Vitaly Klitschko, In the ring, he had no equal. Having received two unfortunate defeats in his entire professional career from Oliver McCall and Hasim Rahman, both lost due to a missed lucky punch, but immediately took revenge from them and won a landslide victory in two fights. Thus, he managed to restore the status quo and return the title of the best fighter of his time. George Foreman, the owner of one of the strongest blows, his right uppercut is equal to 1640 psi. George beat even stronger than his famous rival, Joe Frazier, whom he confidently defeated ahead of schedule twice. But Frazier was considered at that time the most formidable puncher. As Joe himself said, he was grateful for this to the pig that attacked him in early childhood and knocked him to the ground. In the fall, he broke his arm. The bones did not grow together correctly, and he could not unbend it completely, but the resulting angle became optimal for performing a hook. Won the title of absolute world champion. He set a record as the oldest heavyweight champion. At 45 he won the WBA and IBF belts, beating Michael Moore in the 10th round. David Tua Originally from Samoa, nicknamed the Terminator, David Tua has a track record, 40 wins, 35 by knockout, 3 losses. The owner of a truly cannon side punch, David's left side kick had a force of 1,700 psi. After 22 rating fights, he entered the fight for the WBC International World title against John Ruiz. Without giving him a single chance, the Samoan sent his opponent into a hard knockdown in the 19th second of the first round. It took a little longer for Tua to deal with ex-two-time world champion Michael Moore. 30 seconds after the start of the first round, Michael was already lying, writhing in pain, on the canvas, from a missed blow to the liver. Mike Tyson. Even if a person is far from boxing, tell him the name Tyson, he will immediately tell you who he is. He is a living boxing legend. In his youth, having got to the greatest coach Cus D'Amato, Mike immediately caught fire to become a great champion. Day after day, fanatically practicing according to the streamlined program of Cus, at the age of 20 he became the youngest world champion in professionals. His training was legendary. For 10 sets, Mike did 2,000 squats, 500 push-ups on bars 2,000 times press. Training his body five times a week, Tyson delivered blows that were monstrous in strength. His right overhand had a force component of 1850 psi. Iron Mike got into the Guinness Book of Records as the owner of the strongest blow in boxing. Ernie Shavers. We have reached the first place in our ranking. Here is who has the strongest punch in the history of boxing. Ernie Shavers, whose right cross is 1900 psi. In the professional ring, he spent 74 fights, 68 of them ended by knockout. Despite his enormous power in his fists, Ernie was never able to become a world champion. Twice he was in the role of challenger, in a fight with Muhammad Ali and Larry Holmes. But he lost all the fights on points, never trying on the champion belt. Muhammad Ali, after the fight with Shavers said, no one has ever beaten me like that in my life. If you like the video, then like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.